The definition of a dictator can vary, but typically refers to rulers who exercise absolute power over their states, often without the free consent of their governed populations. In the modern world, some leaders are often described as dictatorial due to their authoritarian governance styles, suppression of opposition, and control over many aspects of life in their countries. Here are some prominent leaders often labeled as absolute dictators in recent years. Some popular leaders we think as dictators do not meet the criteria of absolute power. Kim Jong-un, North Korea Since assuming power in 2011, Kim Jong-un has exerted strict control over North Korea, a regime infamous for its severe restrictions on human rights, freedom of speech, and economic activities. Under his leadership, the nation remains isolated, further reinforcing its reputation for oppressive governance. These measures have significantly stifled dissent and curtailed basic freedoms. Bashar al-Assad, Syria Bashar al-Assad has presided over Syria since 2000, overseeing a regime notorious for its human rights abuses, especially highlighted during the brutal Syrian civil war. His administration has faced international condemnation for committing widespread war crimes and violating countless human rights standards. These actions have not only perpetuated the conflict, but also deepened the humanitarian crisis in Syria. Alexander Lukashenko, Belarus Alexander Lukashenko, often dubbed Europe's last dictator, has ruled Belarus since 1994 maintaining his grip on power through oppressive laws that target opposition and restrict media freedoms. His administration is notorious for manipulating electoral processes to ensure continued dominance, thwarting democratic norms. These strategies have entrenched his authoritarian regime, stifling political diversity and suppressing civic freedoms. Nicolás Maduro, Venezuela Nicolás Maduro took over from Hugo Chávez in 2013 and quickly drew global criticism for undermining democratic institutions, violating human rights, and leading Venezuela into a severe economic downturn and humanitarian crisis. His government's policies have exacerbated poverty, hunger, and healthcare shortages, plunging millions into hardship. These actions have significantly destabilized the nation and eroded public trust in its leadership. Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, Egypt Abdel Fattah el-Sisi ascended to the presidency of Egypt in 2014 after leading a military coup in 2013 that ousted the previous government. His tenure has been marred by widespread criticism due to severe human rights abuses, the suppression of political dissent, and stringent controls on press freedom. These measures have stifled democratic development and fostered a climate of fear and repression across the nation. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Turkey Recep Tayyip Erdogan, while operating within a framework that outwardly appears democratic, has been widely criticized for adopting increasingly authoritarian practices. His tenure has featured purges of public officials, severe crackdowns on the media and free speech, and significant consolidation of power. These actions have raised concerns about the erosion of democratic norms and the intensification of autocratic governance in Turkey. Hun Sen, Cambodia Hun Sen has served as the Prime Minister of Cambodia since 1985, securing his lengthy tenure through violent crackdowns, manipulation of electoral processes, and the systematic suppression of opposition voices. His strategies have included harsh reprisals against political dissenters and tight controls over media outlets. These measures have entrenched his power, stifling democratic opposition and curtailing civil liberties within the nation. In examining the regimes of these seven modern dictators, it becomes evident that the impact of dictatorial governance on nations and their citizens is profoundly detrimental. These leaders, ruling through a combination of fear, suppression, and often violence, underscore the struggles many countries face in achieving true democratic governance and respect for human rights. Their enduring presence on the global stage reminds us that democracy is currently in decline on a global scale. Thanks for watching.